and click on Jim's Garden Tips. Weather whiz kids have a fascination with tornadoes, and really, how do we blame them, right? I know. I mean, there's shows out there, storm chasers, all that kind of stuff. It's it's exciting unless you're in one. Yeah. Right, Scott, Scott? Yes. yes. Technology has definitely brought the awareness of tornadoes, and of course, to say, you know, don't try this at home, but there are a lot of people. There are people who go on vacations uh, to, to meet up with right. official storm chasers mm -hmm. to not try me. to get a glimpse. <laughs> Is that such your vacation? It's not my thing. Going from, like, no. motel room to motel no. room and just, you know, eating Chasing fast. Chasing a storm in the and hoping to get in one? No, no thank you. Going every no, gas station no, along an interstate for 200 miles. Hawaii's fine with no. me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, some people like to get up and close and personal, but uh, the fascination is there for tornadoes. And again, one of our students, Abby, from Valley View Elementary, had her weather project regarding tornadoes. So my name's Abby Takuchi, and my school's Valley View Elementary School. And my question was, what happens to the stuff that tornadoes pick up? The answer was, when a tornado comes, it will suck things up. Then, when it ends, it throws things away. It will get broken. If it's lucky, it won't. There's a photograph that traveled 220 miles over 220 miles. So I tried to draw a photograph. And... Um, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that's ex that's exactly it. And what she's saying is not 220 miles an hour, a photograph that was found 220 miles away from where it had been picked up. So she was studying uh, the, 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 uh, the process of the, of the tornado picking up the debris and where does it go after that. And of course, the lighter things tend to get wrapped up and go higher into the storm. But 220 miles away, they found uh, some debris from a storm. So these tornadoes, obviously, that has to be a long-lived tornado and a pretty large tornado. A couple of tornado facts here for you. The average forward speed is about 30 miles an hour. So to get 220 miles, it's going for a long time. But forward speeds can go from anywhere from not even moving at all, just spinning over one spot to up to 70 miles per hour. And some of these storms are very long lived. It can travel uh, a very far distance. So that was a great project. Uh, don't you love her ingenuity? Where does the stuff that a tornado pick up, picks up go? Yeah, I yeah. love it. And I'd give her an A for the way she ended the report, too. And, <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, I know it. Stamp yeah. of approval. That's exactly what I it is. I think that's how we're going to end the newscast from now on. All right. That'll be our <laughs> <laughs> cue. Thanks, Scott. Coming up next on Fox 9 on your side.